Hey everybody, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. Last time I defeated the uh, Queen Goma in the Great Deku Tree and stopped the curse. As you can tell, I'm in Link's house right now. I gathered up some money, but we have two things that we could do in here. If we look at this, we could look at Link's Records, which Spider Squish 3, Largest Fish Caught, Marathon Race, Horse Time, Horseback, Archery. Basically gives us an idea of some of the side quests that there are in this game. But what I mainly wanted to show is if I check our bed here, we can actually rest and recover our life energy here. So if we take a nap, which I don't really need to since my health is at full at the moment, we pretty much will get our health back. And so whenever you start as a kid, what you can do is you start off with three hearts every time you turn back on the game because this is just the way that the game is. You could just rest there immediately and get your health back. So it's like, eh, whatever. But yeah, our task for today is actually going to Hyrule Castle. So in order to do that, we need to go through here. Which, if we talk to you here, Miko Kiri will die if we leave the forest. You're not going to try to leave the forest, are you? Forest folk shall not leave these woods. Well, it's a little late on that. We're going to the castle. Oh, you're leaving. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link. Because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay. Because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. I got the fairy ocarina. It's a memento from Saria, which is placed on a lower icon in the lower left there. So we don't need to necessarily take up an item slot at all times for the ocarina. It's pretty useful. Ocarina, ocarina, I don't really care how to pronounce it. I'm going to say ocarina because it just flows a teeny bit better. You play different notes with the L, Y, X, A, and R buttons. R beat a quick playing. When you play the ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to pay me a visit. Looks like we have an ominous shadow in that tree. Let's go check it out. Yeah, we're heading straight to Hyrule Castle, so we might as well just make our way there. Hoot hoot! Link, look up here! Looks like the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. You encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. If you go straight this way, you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Tap red on the lower screen to open the map subscreen. If you don't know where to go next, try heading to one of the locations marked with a flashing dot. Did you get all that? Yes, this game kind of does a thing where it's like, that's highlighted over no, so if in case you didn't hear it, you can click on it again. It'll constantly keep doing that. So you gotta manually click down and hit yes. Alright then, I'll see you around. Hoot 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 hoo! And he flies away towards the direction of Hyrule Castle. So that is our first stop. Let's head there as quick as possible because it looks like the sun might be setting soon. Hyrule Castle and Lon Lon Ranch. So if you look at the bottom screen, like they said, I'll pop it up just now. There's two flashing icons. Our first idea is to go towards Hyrule Castle, which Hyrule Castle is the uppermost one. As we can tell just by looking at the distance. So if we make our way there, we're probably not going to make it as soon as possible at this rate. It probably will hit nighttime before we get there. Mainly because I'm not rolling to get there faster. If we took basically like the direct way there, we won't get there in time. Which kind of stinks. Normally if I was playing this game on my own time, I would get there like immediately. There's no way I'm making it. It's about to hit nighttime. If I, if I roll now, I'll be able to make it. If I roll now, I'll be able to make it. If I roll now, I'll be able to make it. I did it. I didn't mean to run up this, but yes, I can show you a trick. <laughs> what happens is when it's actually nighttime, what you could do is you could roll, or even morning time, you can actually roll off and get some money. Or if you kind of just inch your way over here, 
Normally what you would do is you would jump off and get 20 rupees for making such a daring jump. But if you walk across this just right, you actually get money just for doing it. There you go. Now I have full money. So I'm going to head down now. And fall through the ground. <laughs> okay. But yeah. What do we got here? Kids shouldn't be wandering around town at nighttime. Stay indoors at the morning. Which I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... Come on. There we go. Check out this door. Got a bunch of pots in here. This is my dream. Pull out a sword. Let's destroy these pots. If you hold down the B button, you can destroy a bunch of pots all at once. So you can kind of just be like crazy. Get a bunch of money if you felt like it. And if we destroy some boxes, we can find some in and stuff. So it's the best thing to sit there and destroy every box you can. Hi, guy. Are you kind of myth that I'm destroying stuff? Man, I am so tired. Night watch is so boring. I wish some ghosts would come out or something. I am really interested in ghosts. Setting them as a hobby of mine. You never know. The time might come when that kind of knowledge might be useful. Hmm. I will keep that in mind. But yes, he doesn't seem terribly miffed that we're destroying all this stuff. But the biggest issue is it is nighttime. So Hyrule Town is going to be a little bit of a bother, to say the least. Can't really do much since everything is closed. There is one particular shop that is open, which is the one right over here. But there's nothing I can really do there yet. We have some singing. Hello there. I won't stop you in the tracks. Hey, close there. Different. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Malin. My dad owns Lon Lon Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet. Kid should be wandering. Yep, he's basically saying the exact same thing. Problem is, staying indoors until morning doesn't let time pass, as you'll know soon see. There's Hyrule Castle, but as you can tell, it's nighttime, and we're not really going to get anywhere. So let's talk to the owl who's just showed up again. Hey, Link, this way. The princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Ho 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 ho! On this ground, time flows normally. But time stands still while you're in Lan Lan Ranch or the town. Or in any town, you should say, anyway. If you want time to pass normally, you have to need, you'll need to leave town. Well, well, which way are you going to go now? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Want to hear what I said again? No. Ah! <laughs> if you, I didn't mean to do that. Spam the buttons. No. They do that on purpose. Whew, you're a smart kid. <laughs> yeah, because I hit the wrong button. I'm a smart kid for hitting the right button. Good luck then. Hoo -hoo. Well then. We need some way to pass the time. So what we can do is we can check out this tree right here. Hi, tree. Hello. Can't hide from me. Yeah, they are pretty much stationed everywhere on the map. So if you roll in the trees, destroy certain things like boxes and stuff, you'll find them all over the place. But it looks like we... I'm going to put my sword away because a kid walking up to a guard with a sword just does not look right. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to Hyrule Castle Town. It's a peaceful, prosperous town. You are not in town. You are guarding this gate right here. But it looks like daytime's about to hit. So if we wait just a teeny bit longer, we can actually get into town during the day. Which will allow us to explore the town a little bit. So... There we go. Once the rooster or the cuckoo goes quack quack, quack it's uh, morning time. So now everything is pretty much open. So if we head into here, which is the first one, it looks like an arrow. We can play a shooting gallery of sorts, it looks like. Shooting gallery, 20 rupees for one play. There are 10 targets. You have 15 chances. Hit all 10 targets. Hit 10 targets, perfect prize. Eight or more, you get a free retry and hit less than eight. Game over. Don't lean on the counter. Don't disturb other customers. Okay. You want to play a game It's 20 rupees? I have more than enough for this. Okay, it's game for grown-ups. Hyrule's famous shooting gallery. Take aim at the targets from that platform over there. If you can hit 10 targets, you get 15 shots. Draw your weapon OP. Are you ready? Go for a perfect score. The 3DS version makes this a little bit easier, and now that I say that, I'm going to lose terribly. But pretty much, you just use the gyro and aim wherever you need to. On the original versions, you need the analog stick, which kind of make it a little bit challenging to do. But now that I can just kind of aim with a gyro, it's stupidly easy. Back then, you need to aim at all these of analog stick. Yep. <laughs> I say it's stupidly easy and I missed one. At least I get a free retry. Whoops. 
Thank you for not counting that. They're always going to be in the same location, so you can kind of just aim and shoot. Game. There we go. There we go. Missed a shot, but you get 15 shots. It's all good. I want to aim this just right. And make sure I get them this time. There we go. Wonderful. Bravo. Perfect. Here's a pan... Pan. Here's a fantastic present. We get a big Deku Seed bullet bag. Nice. And basically, anytime we play again, we'll get 50 rupees from this. It's actually the, one of the easiest ways to get money in the game, surprisingly enough. There are better ways later on, but it is an easy way of getting money. And what do we have over here? We have what looks to be a shop of sorts. A big fancy shop. We can head inside. Let's see. What are we dealing with in here? What a strange shop. I wonder when it'll be open for business. I heard the sign there, but it still seems weird. The Happy Mask Shop. Please read the sign before you use the shop. We do not sell masks at this shop. We just lend them to you. You sell the loan mask on your own. If you pay back the money for the mask, we'll, end you an, we'll lend you a newer model. If you borrow a mask, you already have sold again. However, you can only sell each model of a mask only once. Please try our shop. So basically, it's not open just yet, but if we come back here, it's basically a trading game of source. We trade it, sell it, and get more stuff over time. It's pretty useful. It looks like we have a potion shop right there, which I don't have a bottle to put stuff in, so it's not really that big of a deal just yet. It looks like we have another shop over here. What are we dealing with here? A bunch of stuff I actually can't really buy. I mean, I can afford this one, but that's... Actually, no, I can't afford it. I'm one rupee short. Wow, okay. Which I could win that money easily if I wanted to, but we still got, like, a lot of people going around and just kind of being cheery. Hello. <laughs> Swam through the moat. I was almost there when they... Small hole in the side of the castle that I could sneak into, but I got stuck there. Hmm. Small hole on the side of the castle, eh? You know about the Temple of Time at the northeast part of town? Let's just say the Temple of Time's entrance is a sacred realm. You know that? Yes, I did. Looks like I can't really talk to any of these people. Wait, it looks like we got like a little side path over here. Hello. Hey, Sonny, I'll tell you something helpful. I heard there's a mysterious fountain somewhere near the castle. Thank you for that. Strange, this door doesn't open. Ow. <laughs> Hello. There's nobody here. I see a lot of dog pictures. There's a lot of dogs at night. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are like stationary views in the original, but this is like giving me a lot of whiplash. Hello. It seems strange that the pack of dogs that roam the streets at night. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, camera, stop doing that. <laughs> hey, what what's wrong with Lloyd and Rollin all day? Huh, kid? And we got another door right here. Change this door doesn't open. Okay, so you got two doors that don't open, but one door that does. And it looks like it'll be useful at nighttime. So if we keep that in mind, we'll come back later. Looks like Melon's gone, though, so let's head back to Hyrule Castle. Now that it's daytime, we should be able to get inside. Hello. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. <laughs> oh yeah, if you look for him, I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. Weird egg. So if we basically just wait, we'll take that egg and tap it on two, since this is an item that we're gonna not need just yet. Looks like this item doesn't work here. Yep. So we need this egg for a very specific reason. So we need to make our way there. So let's start off by climbing this. Now that we can actually head up there, we got these things that kind of tell us the time if we whack them, I believe. Yep. Time is 825. So good to know. It's pretty early in the morning. We climb down here or avoid that guard entirely. I don't know what Navi's doing over there, and I kind of don't want to get the guard mad for any reason. So I'm just going to go down here. Looks like we got a little side path we could take, which is pretty helpful. There's a guard right there, so we go this way. Uh, who caught me? Who caught me? Who caught me? <laughs> there was no guard there. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, game. Okay. I'll just take the time to use it because I need a way for nighttime anyway. 
because the egg is very close to hatching, which basically means if I... I might need to wait some time for that. But, wow, how did I... Oh, that guard caught me. Really, now? He was not there. I swear he was not there. I'm gonna see if I can avoid him by getting a little bit closer to these guards here and kind of rummaging around just carefully enough. Some guards there, so let's stay a little bit low and head this way. So we got a patch of vines right there, so as long as we're careful enough, we could avoid the rest of the guards. All right. And looks like we are good. So climb this vine here. And how much more time do I got tonight time? 1402. It's getting really close now. So if we swim in the moat like that guy suggested, we could avoid the guards going up this way. And get a lot of money while we're at it. All right. And another tree right here. Might as well hit it, see if anything pops out of it. Nope. Good to know. It looks like we have somebody laying there. And there's that hole that guy mentioned, right? Over here. It looks like he's sleeping. Mumble, mumble. Welcome. Our ranch is so fun. Come on, look around. All right. So we need to wake him up. But we have no way of doing so just yet. And I'm not going to attack him with a sword. They didn't want to talk to you again. All right, I'm going to have to wait a pretty decently long time because it's just now hitting nighttime. So, um... Yeah, let's uh, speed this up just a teeny bit. There we go. A cuckoo hatched from the egg. So it's the miracle of life. So let's wait until that text box gets off the screen and let him roar. What in tarnation? Can a person get a little shut eye around here? Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. Went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here for a rest and I guess I fell asleep. What? Malin was looking for me. I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up bad, leaving Malin behind to wait for me. Is she really gonna let me have it? Looks like he can come and go as he pleases, but... Now that he's out of the way, this milk that he delivered could actually be used for something useful. I hope he doesn't get, um... Fired from his job as, like, milk deliverer for me putting these in, like, the weirdest places. But I think he should be okay. Let's push these very, very carefully, and there's one. Which, now that that's there, if we move this one... I probably should have done this at night time, but uh, we have more than enough time for this. It's probably like 10 o'clock by now. Because as that guy mentioned earlier, when he got stuck, the guards found him. So basically, he was stuck there for a decently long time. Probably got caught around night time. So now that that's set up, we can do this and head right into this hole. And what I mean by that is when you first enter here, you'll see like a different little view here. Normally at night, there'll be extra guards there and you can't really get around them when they're there. But it looks like we have some guards on patrol here. So if we wait a little bit and not get terribly close, Wait until it looks like they have some movement patterns here. So if we just kind of not get close, wait for them to go over there. Stay on the grass because it's a little bit quieter. I don't think that really matters in the grand scheme of things, but might as well just be on the lookout for that. And let's go. I say as I just walk on nothing. That's a lot of tempting money right there, but I'm not grabbing any of it. Looks like there's another way up that one too. You want to climb up and across. But that's a little bit of a lot of effort to actually do. So we're not going to do that. Alright, you can go now. This one's a little bit on the hard side, mainly due to the fact that the patrol patterns are kind of weird. Like, this guy is going to get in the way, the one that's up above there. So we're going to have to wait even longer in order to go. We can't just go just yet. Because the other guard will catch us right away. So we need to wait for him to go, and then we should be okay. So as long as we don't get too close. Wait for him to move. Okay. We can pass safely by this. 
now that when this guy moves, this other guy is going to give us a very small window. And this one seems like it'll be hard, but they're over there waiting. So all we got to do is just kind of just go. We'll just wait. It's a teeny bit more because that guard's right there behind the statue. And I don't remember the range of when he gets set off. So I'm just going to go right away. And here we go. We have made it. All right, now that we are in the castle courtyard, we can get a little bit of a look around here. I don't see anything in these windows that of particular no. It looks like you got like a Mario motif going on in there, which I think there's a pipe actually. Huh, neat. I remember them being pictures, not, ooh, I'm not gonna step on those flowers. <laughs> that would've been bad. And then it looks like we have a pot on this side. So I believe if I shoot this side, hey you, don't cause any trouble. He throws a bomb at us which is a little bit closer to the flowers. I believe if we shoot a very specific spot, we... Whoa, hello. We shoot a very specific spot. I think this right there. Yep, we get some money. There we go. It's a little bit of an extra, like, nod to other games that Nintendo has done. But hello there. Can I, can I line up? There we go. What? Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Very easily. <laughs> oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then, are you... Are you from the forest? Th then you wouldn't happen to have the, the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds are billowing over the land of Hyrule. Well, suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest. Part of the clouds lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I knew this was a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story. I didn't even properly introduce myself. I'm Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link. Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. The legend goes like this. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes the wish, it will lead Hyrule into a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has this wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been foretold. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. Back then when I was little, I always thought she was just like retelling the same story the Deku Tree told us, but it's actually slightly different, just uses the same imagery. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world. But the entrance is still with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. The other thing you need is the treasure the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time! Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yes, thank you, you are not like the owl who confuses me whenever I hit the buttons. That's great! I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there! Will you look through the window at him? Sure. We're gonna be some creepers! Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudo. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream. They must symbolize that man! What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet! Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. 
What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce for the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world! Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please! I don't believe you. Okay. Thank you. I, I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. It is fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You will go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it'll be helpful to you. Yes, we got Zelda's letter. It has Princess Zelda's autograph in it. Yep, we could take it out and show it to other people by setting it to a button. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. The attendant right there. So let's talk to you really quickly. I'm so glad these text boxes are so much faster than the original game. <laughs> I am Impa of the Sheikah. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is the ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. This is a change that is very, very annoying from the original. The original used the C buttons and then the A button for all these notes, but now we have L, R, X, Y, and A. So if you want to play this, it is X, A, Y, X, A, Y. You learned Zelda's lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. You brave lad. You must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain. Home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up to Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Hey, guess what? I could do that too, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> it doesn't work out that well for me. But yes, we got a new song with the Fairy Ocarina, which if we actually click down on the bottom screen, we can view all the songs that we're going to get, plus some a little bit of a spoiler territory that we know how many songs we're going to get exactly. But we can basically just look at these and just kind of learn how they go by that alone. So we can play them just by doing this. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we can do with the Ocarina. There is actually a lot more songs that I just mentioned that we're going to get. But there is a little bit of a story behind this Ocarina that is very hilarious to me. Uh, when I was younger, I would always call this the Magic Potato. And I always referred it to the Magic Potato since then. So basically, you can just play the songs like just by doing whatever, just hitting the buttons. But if you hold the button down and then move the analog stick, you can kind of get like a little bit of a rhythm going. So you can technically play anything you want if you're musically inclined. You can play any song that's out there. As long as you hit all the buttons and kind of just like do whatever, you can play so many different songs. Or you could just 
be an idiot and just do something like this. <laughs> so, looks like we're heading towards Death Mountain in the next episode here. We're going to head straight up there. And I'm going to pause my game so the day doesn't actually change. <laughs> but yes, next time on Azure Plays More Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. We're going to head towards Death Mountain, but there's a lot of extra stuff we can do in the meantime. Hyrule Field is pretty much open to us completely at this point. We can do whatever the heck we want. So with that, I'll see you all then.